Hey everybody, I'm Lindsay Zarniak back here again, this time to talk to another one of the key connections in the story that is Flightline, the horse everybody's looking forward to watching in the Breeders' Cup Classic. I'm joined by Flavian Pratt, the jockey that will be racing Flightline. Flavian, I wanna start by just your opportunity because I know you've been in the United States now for several years. You have had extreme success at really all levels of racing. But how do you see this opportunity to race Flightline on November 5th in the Breeders' Cup Classic? Hi, Lindsay. Well, th first, thank you for having me today. Well, it's obviously a great opportunity. I mean, just to uh, to have the chance to ride Flightline is uh, is been so good to us, and and I mean, it's been so amazing right now. It's just a uh, just a talented horses and horse, and uh, and it's it's been really fun to uh, really fun, and I really enjoyed the ride so far. So what are you most looking forward to in terms of your preparation as we get closer? So basically we're gonna, he's gonna run the Breeders' Cup in a, in a, in a few weeks. I think there's uh, four more weeks right now. Uh, so he's gonna have a few walkout uh, going to the race and, and then uh, Breeders' Cup, which is, which is gonna be the race uh, that uh, we, uh, that we aim since, uh, since the beginning. And, and uh, so really excited about it. How do you describe what Flightline is like compared to the other horses that you've ridden? Um, he, he has a lot of speed and and, uh, and and stamina as well, which is really important. You know, when you when you get to the races where the distance increase, um, you know, some some horses can 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 run the distance, and and uh, he definitely can. Um, and he has great speed. He has a great uh, cruising speed. So basically, horses that are running, you know are chasing him and, and, and you get them tired. How easy is he to handle? Uh, he's been a lot better. Uh, obviously, <laughs> he's a trainer and uh, an exercise rider. So John Sadler and, and Juan Leva, they did a tremendous job on him. He, he was a bit um, uh, harder to manage at first. He, he definitely, uh, you know, like just a young horse that that wants to do a bit more than he needs to and uh, with races and uh, and with his um his connection they they, they did a great job and uh, they settled him down and now he's so much better to, i mean he's he's been great was he feisty is that how you would describe it no uh, it, it's just that he, he would manage his effort as well as he does now um, okay. you know obviously a young horse he was running shorter distance and uh, but as time goes by he just uh, learn how to manage himself and uh, and and uh, even in his workout it, it's been a he's been a real pro how would you see it if he's challenged down the stretch how do you see that working out from what you know and have experienced with him well as of right now he hasn't being challenged because yeah. uh, because when you get to the quarter pole, pretty much the race is over. So, uh, I mean, the goal would be to not be challenged again, but uh, <laughs> you, you never know. Uh, there's there's going to be a lot of good horses in that race. But I just feel like he, he react the right way, just like he did for every race before that. Terry Finley was, was sharing just some of his experience and something that he said wowed him about the horse was really the impact that Flightline has had on all of the connections and saying just, you know, whether it's the exercise rider, the owner, the trainer, that everyone has felt touched in a different way, that he means something different to each person that, that touches him in the way that they do. What, what is that way for you? Like, how does this potential for him to be so great, what does that really mean? Uh, well, on my personal point of view, I mean, you know, I get to a point in my career where, you know, I'm, uh, it's pretty much those five, five years where it's going to be the top of my career and, and, 
and being able to ride him, it's pretty much, uh, I mean, he's a horse that, you know, I probably won't go across again. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's been compared to horses that ran 100 years ago. So I just tell you how good he is and uh, and how lucky I am to 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 ride him. And, and it's, you know, it's horses like him don't, you know, you don't see them every, every year. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely, um, I'm really grateful for it. I really enjoy the, the journey and I'm trying to, to learn as much as I can about him. You know, it, it seems like he's a real uh, smart horse is talented, but he knows he's the star as well. He, he, he exactly know that he has attention around him and, and, and he loves it. So it's for me, it's really enjoyable. How do you do that? How do you learn as much as you can about the horse that will be your pairing? Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, being on him, obviously you have feeling and you yeah. definitely have a sense of, you know, what he likes and what he doesn't like. Um, so that's, uh, you know, at that point, it's my job as well to, understand uh, what what he wants to do what he can do what he cannot do so that's uh, that's um, part of my job and for people that aren't around horse racing all the time you know when you say that he understands right how good he is how how you know like can you put it into context because i know you follow <laughs> other sports i know you love the nba and, and soccer and other sports as well but how would you describe what that's like when you identify that in a horse well there's a i mean you know, he's a different individual. Uh, there's only a few horses that have been around that can, you know, you can tell they know that they have attention and, and, and he's one of them. I mean, you know, when there's camera or a photograph, I mean, you can tell he's looking at them and he's just, he's pretty much posing for them. So it's, it's, uh, you know, as I say, he's a different individual and it's really fun. I love that. So for you, it was Country House in 2019 that you won the Derby with Ron Bauer with the Preakness a couple of years later. How does Flightline in your mind compare to those horses? Uh, it's it's a bit of a different, um, it, it's hard to compare them because the two horses that, that you name, Country House and Ron Bauer, you know, they most likely run at three He's mm -hmm. a four years old. I mean, he, he run at three, but not in the same part of the season. So uh, a, a bit different. Uh, they face different challenge. But what, he's, what Flightline is facing right now and what he's been doing as far as racing is just, uh, is just not comparable. I mean, he's, uh, uh, as far as, you know, we have time. And, and and all that and I mean the the times are so much faster than than any horse that I've you know been around in ten years. I mean it's it's just uh, it's just amazing. What does that feel like when it's that type of speed? Uh, it feels good. Uh, no, it's <laughs> it's uh, it's obviously you you is a really powerful horse, um, and he's when he's galloping is it's effortless. You know, there's there's just a high cruising speed it, it's like driving a car when you when you drive a good car it feels like you you know you're not doing much you're not going fast and i mean you look at the 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 speed and you 80 90 miles an hour and uh, you you drive a bad car and it feels like you you're going really fast and you're 50 miles an hour it's just the same feeling wow i want to hear a little bit about your job and i was curious what what do you think is the most difficult part of being a jockey um well obviously you have to be light and and uh be really strict on your weight which uh for some jockey you know that i'll be taller uh it's it's a real challenge uh but i mean other than that i think when you have the passion and 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 you're like what you're doing uh you know it's it's such a a grateful thing to wake up every morning and do what you love and you know not going to a job that you know you don't want to do and you have to do it uh, six seven days a week so i mean i'm just really happy and i really enjoy the life i'm living i mean it's it's uh like i said it's you know it's a passion so first and and you know be being able to wake up every day and do what i like it's, uh, it's just really enjoyable how do you maintain that weight how do you approach that 
difficulty? Um, well, I mean, most likely you have to eat healthy. Uh, mm -hmm. have, have tried to have a, you know, a, a, a pretty good diet and, you know, exercise a lot. And, um, and that's, that's about it. Then the, we have a uh, sauna and, and steam, uh, steam box. Well, you can, you can lose a few pounds, uh, if you need to adjust. Yeah. Um, what would you say, what is the weight that you typically ride at? So the minimum weight is 118. So yeah. to, to, to ride at 118, you get to understand that you, you need your tack, um, all your equipment. So you basically need to do 115, 114. Yeah, that's pretty much my, my weight. I have people that follow your story, no matter which horse it is that you've ridden, that they paid attention to, they likely know that you got into horse racing and the interest because of your dad, correct? Yes. So my dad was a, I mean, he's a trainer, yeah. uh, but standard bread, uh, which is uh, completely different. But uh, yeah, that's, that's how I got hooked. Uh, that's how, you know, I got, I got love with the horses and uh, that's how it all started. So how does that impact what you're about to do with Flightline and what, you know, the opportunity you have at stake? Um, well, as a kid, you know, you, there's a lot of dream. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of dream and, and expectation. And uh, I get to a point where I can, uh, you know, can realize one of my dream, uh, winning uh, one of the Breeders' Cup Classic were, is a dream and and that would be great and and to be a uh, riding flight line which is uh, such an icon right now it's it's great i know is it when you think about the comparisons and hear people comparing uh flight line to secretariat how is that is that surreal is it you know are you are you like able to dig into the hype does it feel like it's it's true to you so it, it's a bit surreal but i really try this is I really try to enjoy the whole mm -hmm. process and, and, and when, when it's going to be done, I, I want to look back and say, yeah, it was, it was so much fun and I really enjoy it. Yeah, so that's uh, my whole, uh, my whole process. I mean, Flavian, is it hard to enjoy in the moment or is there a moment when you're, that you expect that you'll be able to have on November 5th that you know? No, no, but the, the thing is, uh, you you know at that point there's a lot of expectation you always want yes. to do the right thing for the horse and and you want him to run a good race and i just want to be focused on on you know enjoy the, the ride pretty much that's uh, that's what i'm trying to do i remember um when i got married everyone said take a minute at the after the wedding at the party to just look at all the people because it'll <laughs> never happen again right so in my mind i'm thinking Will you have a moment like that before, you know, before it's time to go, right? Uh -huh. Just soak it in, look at everyone around you and just think I may be about to make history. Yeah, no, that's exactly, exactly what I, what I want to do. It's exactly uh, when, when he won his last race last time, uh, you know, after the race, you just try to process everything because, you know, as much as everybody's, uh, I wouldn't say in shock with the way he run, but so impressed by him. You know, I'm I'm impressed as well. I mean, I'm on top of him, and when I look back and you you're 20 lengths in front of everybody, you know, it's it's a shock. So I'm trying to really enjoy and really, uh, yeah, really enjoy the moment. Yeah. Can you walk me through what that is like when you turn around and you have that experience, and also how you handle that to continue, you know, moving forward with such power? Well, um, so when I look back and I was. 20 lengths in front uh i mean i was in shock because because you're running against some of the best horses in the country mm -hmm. and you just you just destroy it just destroyed the field so it's you know it's something that you you have to digest it's like whoa how, how can a horse do that it's it's just amazing how how, how can he does that wow so if there's one thing that you would say because i would love to get your expert opinion on one unknown that you have heading into the Breeders' Club Cup Classic with Flightline. What would you say it is? Mm. Or is that strategy? <laughs> Maybe that's a no. Bad thing, but... That's I mean the strategy. I, th I think he is. Uh, that's what it's great about him that is he has been able to 
be in the front or, or, or be a bit off the pace. You know, he, he, he have done both way. So it's not like he needs to run on a lead. Uh, but the, the competition is going to be a bit stronger. There's a horse named Life is Good who uh, has a tremendous uh, talent and, and ha a lot of speed. It's pretty much going to be a match. But, uh, yeah, no, that's uh, maybe the competition. But as far unknown, uh, the, the last race was a mile and a quarter, which he had never run before. So that was a question mark. Uh, which is uh, not a question mark anymore. So at that point, you know, it's just uh, him being 100% for the race and, uh, and, and run his race, pretty much. That's really awesome. Uh, before I, I say goodbye, and this might sound like a really simple question, but I'm just curious, you know, are there moments that you're able to have with the horse if you're able to, to ride him to victory at the Breeders' Cup Classic? What is that like with a horse who can't speak when you're communicating and you're celebrating and you just, there is such a bond between the two of you? Are there ways that you connect with him that you can sense? Well, we pretty much connect the whole race, the, you know, before the race as well. So yeah, there's a, I think there's a bond and, and yeah, you do connect with the horse and you, you it's like, it's like human, you know, there's people that you have more connection with than other. And, uh, and so, yeah, I mean, we do have a connection and it's, uh, it's, it's great, you know, and you don't want that to end. So it's, it's nice. Is there something that you know about Flightline that you think no one else probably knows just because of that connection that you have? Well, it, it has to, cause I'm, I'm between one Leva and me. I mean, we are the ah. only two that ride him. So there has to be a, it has to, yeah, have something that I know that nobody knows. What is it? Is there something fun that you you could share? No, not really. I mean, not, I don't know if I could share anything, but it's, uh, yeah. no, not really. Not really. Not, nothing to share. Okay. Lady and Pratt, good luck to you. It's been really great getting to talk to you. And I know you've, you've just had so many um, achievements, you know, in the sport. So thank you for your time and best of luck. Thank you very much. Is this the next superstar? And take a good look at this because you're not going to see this too often. Maybe never. Second pass, it's 